friends. Today we're gonna to be making an Amish recipe. It's called Sadie's Shoe Fly Cake. Now, we, me and my husband and my son, we went to Amish country back in the fall of last year. And we met up with a, a lady there. She does dinners in her home. And we just really become friends and she had us to come over and she wanted us to uh, just visit. And while she was visiting, she was making some apple something. She was peeling a bunch of apples. And she gave me a cookbook. She just gave it to me. She was the sweetest lady. And we just probably visited for about two, two and a half hours. And we just had the best time. She was intrigued by me and I was intrigued by her. And we just really had a good time together. But I'm going to make this... Um, recipe out of this book that she gave me. This is her family recipe book. And um, so we're going to start on this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have four um, cups of flour, all-purpose flour. And so I have that in here. And then we're going to have two cups of brown sugar. And I've already got one measured out, but let's go ahead and do another one. And... Uh, well, I already got my oven on 350. I'm gonna pack this because you always pack your brown sugar. But I was so excited to, to be able to visit with her and um, she just really gave me some interesting tips and um, I actually got a couple of recipe books and so I've been trying to make things out of them and uh, I'm gonna share them with y'all see what see what we all think. All right, so we have our four cups of flour, our two cups of brown sugar, <coughs> excuse me, and then we're going to do three-fourths cups of shortening. So three-fourths cup, and I have this uh, stick here, so we're just going to cut off that part, and we're gonna use the rest. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting. We're just going to use our hands and we're going to mix this up until it's crumbly. Okay? So, I guess we'll just start doing that. It's going to be just like crumbs, she said. This, this has so many good things. It doesn't just have... Um, recipes in it. It has stuff like uh, or recipes for food. It has stuff like how to make cleaner. Um, it has some poems and uh, once we get our cake in the oven, I'll share some of that with you. But it, it's just it's a jewel because this isn't something that you buy in a um, oh, you know, like a tourist, a tourist place. This isn't like that. This is their actual family recipe. It has their little family stuff and it has their um, their tree in the front, their family tree and you know stuff about their mama and daddy and she even pointed out to me this is this was my grandpa, this was my mama, uh, was grand, uh, daddy and you know stuff like that. All right so this is this is good and crumbly, good and mixed and then it says to reserve one or two cups for um for a, a topping so it says one to two cups so i'm going to do a cup and a half i if once i try this and i want to use i may use butter next time because i'm not a real big fan of shortening but maybe you're supposed to use shortening I don't know. So I'm going to do a cup and a half because it says one to two cups. So we'll just meet them in the middle. So there's one. And then there's a half. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay. Now it calls for a tablespoon of soda. I'm going to add that. And before I put my mix, my wet stuff in there, I think I'm gonna mix, I think I'm gonna mix that into there. And then we're gonna, it calls for a cup of king syrup, 
but we can't get king syrup here in, in our area of Texas. So I looked up online uh, what I could substitute for that. And they said um, either a maple syrup or a dark, um, a dark, a dark syrup. So we are going to do the bear, the bear rabbit. That's what we're going to use. And we're going to use a cup. Cup of that. And they don't have electricity, so everything's by hand. And um, this lady for sure didn't. She had, um, we're gonna do two cups of boiling water, and I've got one of these deals here that has really hot water. They had like, um, almost like battery operated Christmas lights strung up all around in their house. Uh, so that was interesting. And then they had battery operated light bulbs. Uh, their kitchen was very modern looking. It had the granite countertops. It was, it was nice looking. It just didn't have electricity. And I said, well, how are you running your refrigerator? And she said, on propane. So I was like, okay. So we added our two cups of uh, water here. And we're just gonna mix it up until it looks like it's mixed. It says to, um, Add your wet stuff and then pour into a cake pan and top with the crumbs and bake at 350 until done, which is about 30 or 40 minutes. It smells really good. That syrup, you know, it smells kind of like molasses. It's, it smells wonderful. So, let me get a, let me get this. I think it needs this. You get the right tools here. I have been wanting that if you what if you've watched this before, I made um, double. I think it was called double good uh, blueberry pie. It was. It was very 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 good. So we're hoping that this is a hit as well. All right. How do I get all these lumps out? guess they just keep on mixing, but you don't want your cake to get tough. Okay, it's starting to look better now. Let that sit. I've got my pan here. This is actually another old pan that I got from my great granny. I mean, look at it. You know it cooks some good things in its day. So I got some Baker's Joy and I'm just gonna spray it with that. Okay. And then we'll pour our batter in here. If you like molasses, it smells like it. Okay, I think that's good enough. We'll get the air bubbles out real quick. All right, and then we'll put our topping on, our crumb topping. It says to just do this. When I was there on the side of the road, I had stopped a little girl. She was she, she was uh, selling some shoe fly pie. And um, I asked her, I said, what is it like? And she kind of kind of uh, told me, and it had this topping on here. She said, it has a wet bottom. <laughs> and uh, so I really don't know what the difference is between a shoe fly pie and a shoe fly cake. I guess we'll see. Okay, I think a cup and a half was really perfect. So we're gonna stick it in there. Between 30 and 40 minutes, it says. 
but I want to show y'all some of the stuff that's in this book. Um, this is the what the front of it looks like right there. And uh, she said the humps was her mother's um, people. But uh, there's just like little, this is the original home. Look at that. They have beautiful homes there in, we were in Lancaster. And um, we went on over to, and of course, and you know all of the places that they have. But, uh, but just like, down at the bottom, the the aunts and her sister in laws and all of that, they would they got together and made this book. She said and they just put little sayings like here's one that says, "Let the wife make the husband glad to come home, and let him make her sorry to see him leave." Isn't that sweet? I love that. That's sweet. I like that. And let's see if we can find one more. Here's a here's a little poem. It was submitted by. One of the, 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 their last name is E-S-H. And she, actually the lady that I met, her name was Sally Esh. And so, uh, this is a little poem it's called, Blessed is the Mother. Blessed is the mother who can hold on to her children while letting them go. Who puts a twin, a twin, a tranquil home ahead of an immaculate house. Who knows a kind act will be remembered longer than an easy word. Who really believes that prayer changes things. Whose faith is in the future but sweetens the present. Whose Bible never needs dusting. And whose sense of humor is alive and well. And that was submitted by uh, Mrs. Ruthie Esh. So... Um, I'm not going to read you any more because I'm going to be making more out of this and I want to be able to read y'all some whenever uh, we we do. But we have we have how to make cleaner. Um, let's see, I'll do one one recipe for y'all. Uh, that's something like that. Let's see. We got daily prayer. We got the Ten Commandments of a Farmer's Wife. Here's a helpful hint. To gather stems, or no, to thicken stews, sauces, and soups, instantly use instant potato flakes. I, I, I've known that. that that's, that's interesting, uh, and, it, and it works. Here's a baking tip. If your favorite chocolate cake asks for water, try substituting it with brewed coffee. The stronger the better. Mmm. And let's see, we'll do one more. We'll do a homemade bubble bath. You'll need one cup of drift. That's that baby uh, laundry soap. One cup of drift and two cups of Epsom salt. Mix well. And she just says, I make a lot at one time. And that's submitted by Mrs. Katie Fisher. So. All right, we're going to go ahead and let our cake keep on cooking, and we'll be back in a little bit. All right, y'all, I've gotten it out of the um, oven, and this is how it looks. And I'm going to let it cool, and we'll have a piece tonight. Let y'all know how, how it tastes. Okay, it's late in the evening, and we made this, and we don't care for it. <laughs> Uh, we got a little, it's, it's really strong. Um, I think I like the bottom part a lot better than this top part. Um, it might just be something that we're just not used to, you know, a certain food. Um, I won't make this again. Um, I think it's just, uh, maybe the syrup is just too strong or I really... It's like I can't pinpoint what I don't like. I, it's it's really hard. I don't know. It smells really good. It smelled wonderful when it was baking. Um, it, I will tell you it was a lot better when it was warm than now. It's even worse now. I just, I don't like the top. I don't like the crumb thing. And maybe if I just cooked it as a cake and then put an icing on it, but then that takes away the whole Meaning, I think of a shoe fly, you know, because even the shoe fly pie has this crumb uh, topping. But this is it, and uh, 
any way. We'll just add it to the to the Amish recipes. Now, you may love it. And so, if you know that you like shoe fly pie or cake, then by all means, it's going to be very authentic because of the recipe book that I have. So, all right, y'all. That's it. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Until then, keep looking to the east. Bye.